Join our Oracle Fusion community today. Subscribe now and hit the bell icon. Hello friends. Welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. If you are first time viewer, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest update from Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demo, we are to cover if you have business requirement to put it certain holds or customize the holds based on business requirement on the sales order side. If you remember, we have the holds functionality available in EBS2. The same way we have that functionality available in Oracle Fusion 2. So to achieve, to customize the hold, to create the holds, you have to go to the setup and maintenance. Under the setup and maintenance, you have to go to the task. Or under task, you have to click on search. Once you click on search, you have to type manage holds. So you have to search. So let me just remove the S. So the task name called manage hold codes. So you have to select the task. Once you selected the task, you can create your own customize holds to restrict certain privileges, certain restriction to avoid accidental updates on the sales order side. If you have this kind of business requirement to create the hold, what you have to do? You have to click on create. Once you click on create, you have to enter the code name. So let's assume I'm adding hold for customer name of the hold. You have to write the whole name hold applied by manager. You can put the description. So I'm taking one of the example. You can set your own business uh, need or business specific credit check name description. You can put it. What is the definition of this hold? You can set it up over here. So I'm just copying and setting up the same a start date. You can mention the start date and as well as the end date. So if there is a need to set it up, you can do that. You have to enable the flag if you want hold all services. So any kind of specific services you want to hold, you don't enable it. If you want to hold all services, you just enable it. And then in the set, you have to set the common. So if you have different reference data access set based on your business unit, you can set it up accordingly, the custom one. Once you set it up, you have to click on save. Once you save, after that, you have to go to the applicable roles. What it means and the use of the applicable roles. So what it means, apply hold as well as the release hold. So who supposed to release or apply the hold, you can segregate based on your roles based on your business requirement. If you selected all roles as well as release hold as a all roles, then any of the roles can apply the hold at the sales order as well as release the hold. If you want to restrict, you have to select the specific role from the list. So you have to just click on select. You can define your specific custom roles. So let's assume I'm taking one of the example order manager. So order manager. So I selected the order manager. Click on OK. So order manager can apply the hold at the sales order level. Same way. I'm selecting the release. 
if you selected the release system by default select the same role for the release hold so you can disable it if you want to segregate the roles you can set order admin so i am selecting order administrator click on okay once you select it so order administrator can release the hold so now you can see the differentiation so if you want the same role can apply the hold as well as release the hold you can do it as well as if you have two different kind of roles you can set different privileges to it once you set it up you have to save save and close and you have to test it out the most of important thing is that you must have these two roles available to test this hold this is how you can achieve if you have this kind of requirement in your business or while doing your implementation you can achieve it in oracle fusion thank you thank you for watching my channel fusion action learning keep subscribing keep watching happy learning don't forget to subscribe it